I'm Selena. And I'm Leon. Today we'll be making some holiday cocktails that will be perfect for you to entertain with this holiday season. So Leon, yes. the holidays. You're cooking for people, you're hosting people. Cleaning. You're sending out the invites, cleaning your house. <laughs> a lot going on for the holidays. So sometimes the last thing you're thinking about is what cocktail are we gonna serve, right? 100%. So today we're here to show you three Super fun, super easy holiday cocktails that hopefully take one thing off of your to-do list this holiday season. You ready to go? I'm ready. Cool. So first up, we have one of my favorites. Um, it's a twist on a classic. It's gonna be the Grey Goose Vodka Eggnog. So traditionally, it's made with rum or cognac. We're gonna do a little bit of Bacardi 10 years. So it's gonna have a tiny bit of rum and then it's gonna have Grey Goose as sort of the shining star. So one part Bacardi 10, one part Grey Goose, two and a half parts of eggnog mix, a little splash of vanilla simple, and then a little pinch of brown sugar for good measure. Sounds delicious. You ready to do this? Yeah. So when I'm making these types of cocktails, I like to serve them in mason jars for at home hosting because I usually have a lot. I feel like you just sort of accumulate mason jars these days because a lot of places will serve things in them. So it's usually an easy vessel to have and they all look quite similar, so it's kind of consistent for serving. And it's great for a group serve because you have a bunch and you can then make your eggnog in a pitcher or in a punch bowl and then have people sort of help themselves and it's one less thing to do to have to serve your guests their cocktails during your, your holiday parties. 100%, it's like you're doing your heavy lifting before your guests arrive. Yeah, exactly, it's sort of pre-prep and then you just have a nice party where people can go up and get their own eggnog. This smells wonderful. I know, it does, so right? Good. I love the consistency of it. It's got that nice, like, thick holiday drink. It's cold outside. It's like a nice warm blanket of a cocktail. And a little pinch of the brown sugar on top. And what's the garnish for this? We're actually just gonna do a little stir, and then we're gonna garnish with what I think is a super fun holiday garnish, a cinnamon stick. Mm. It adds some nice aromatics, and it gives a nice holiday feel. So here's our eggnog Love that. with Grey Goose Vodka. Now Selena just made us a wonderful eggnog. Now we're gonna kind of switch gears and I'm gonna make a gingerbread martini cocktail. Good thing about this cocktail, all the ingredients are equal parts. So we're gonna do one part of Grey Goose Vodka, one part of butterscotch schnapps, one part of cinnamon schnapps, and one part of Irish cream liqueur. So we're gonna start with our Grey Goose and we're gonna build right into our shaker here. This is a fun little festive cocktail. Maybe Perfect. if you don't wanna bake gingerbread men, you, you can, can serve this. this version for your guests. Yes. I'm not much of a baker, so I think I'd prefer to make them a gingerbread man cocktail. A cocktail version? Yeah. It's perfect for the holidays. I think the people that come over for my holiday parties would probably prefer this as well. As would my guests. <laughs> it's a nice welcome cocktail when your guests arrive. Yeah, definitely. Or a dessert cocktail. Maybe it's like kind of a holiday version of an espresso martini cocktail or something of that nature. Now we have our ingredients and our and give it a nice little shake. And so do you have a garnish for this drink or it just goes into the martini glass? It just goes into the glass, but I am open to some suggestions from what you all would garnish this cocktail with. So leave a comment below if you have any garnish suggestions for Leon's gingerbread martini cocktail. Look at that. That looks great. I would love to see what creative garnishes people suggest for this. The gingerbread martini cocktail. So for our third holiday cocktail, we'll be making something you've probably had in the past, and that is a Grey Goose and Cranberry. I love this drink. So we're gonna start with one and a half parts of Grey Goose and two parts of Cranberry Juice. This is a good one though, because the cranberry is super festive, right? Like cold weather, it's just like a nice, simple drink. It's got a good color to it, good got a holiday, great holiday pop color. to it. But it's easy to execute and you're gonna sort of like jazz it up and holiday it up with a fun garnish, right? Nice so garnish, just you don't have to make a complex drink. Can I borrow a stir up, yes. please? But you can still make it look holiday, which is nice. Absolutely. And yes, to garnish, a nice rosemary sprig. But even the glass you chose is like very holiday-ish. I feel like that even adds to the oh. holiday motif. A holiday cheer. A little holiday cheer. The Grey Goose and Cranberry. All right, everyone, hopefully these three super easy to make cocktails at home give you some holiday cocktail inspiration this holiday season. Please click below to see more recipes like this.